Coming soon to a corner near you, trash cans that will be able to send an email when they're full. And that's not the only thing that makes them special. Jordan Burgess tells us how they work and where you can find one. Tossing it out is still the same, but what happens next is more wonder than waste. And we like using technology to help us do things different and improve the uh, quality of service. But no, I never thought I'd see a talking trash can. But soon, cans like this one will be communicating from spots all over Dayton, thanks to a grant from the Greater Dayton RTA. We're putting these at 10 high-profile and highly used bus stops to generate a lot of the trash. Basically, each container has a compactor in it that runs on solar power. The compactor allows the bin to handle more trash than a typical can. Currently, we have to go to those bus stops about two or three times a week. With these solar compactors, I can now send a crew to dump that once every two to three weeks. But that's not all these techie trash cans do. They also have color-coded sensors that tell you when they're full. Red, this is full. You need to dump this yellow. Hey, you need to schedule this. It's halfway green. You're good to go. Right now, workers can check a website to see if the can is full, but soon the company wants to make it so the city simply gets an email when it's time to take out the trash, giving new meaning to the term junk mail. The only drawback may be the cost. One of these things goes for about $4,000. This time, grant money was used to foot most of the bill, but buying more will depend on whether they generate savings along with all that waste. But that's something I'll have to explore as we go through our budgetary process, uh, but it definitely gives me some efficiency as we shrink as an organization. Jordan Burgess, 2 News on North Side.